Okay, on this flight we were trying to prove whether we would get better mileage throttled to the same percent power rich of peak as we'd get running uh, lean of peak wide open throttle. So here we are at uh, 10 5 wide open throttle slightly rich of peak truing 170 knots on 13.4 gallons per hour. Here we are at wide open throttle, 57% power, lean of peak, truing 164 knots on 11.5 gallons per hour. This is now rich of peak, throttle to 58% power, truing 159 knots on a similar 11.6 gallons per hour. Here we are now at 12.5. Uh, Wide open throttle, lean of peak, 55% power, truing 161 knots on 11.1 .1 gallons per hour. Now we've gone uh, rich of peak, throttled to 55% power, truing 158 knots on 11.7 .7 gallons per hour. So what we learned today was that the calculated percent power on the Garmin doesn't seem too accurate as the TAS should be the same at the same power. However, the engine does seem slightly more efficient running wide open throttle lean of peak with the SDS advanced ignition timing because we're seeing a few more knots on the same fuel flow here. This seems to confirm theory that the pumping losses are lower wide open throttle and this translates into slightly more efficient operation. Hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think. Thank you.